Hello there. So today we're going to be doing the next part of our build, uh, which will be installing the video transmitter. So this is a Matek uh, HV VTX, VTX HV. Um, these are great little transmitters. They use uh, tramp or uh, tramp telemetry to control what your uh, can be controlled by your flight controllers. So they are really really useful. This can run off the mains uh, of the battery power of your quad. So it runs from five to twenty seven. I think it is. Yeah, 5 to 27. So you need to put, offer it more than 5 volts. So I'm going to run it straight off the um, XT60 cable. So I'm just going to begin by soldering up the pads that I need to use. Okay, so hopefully you can now see the board. So what we're going to do to start with is we're just going to do the inputs. So the positive and ground. Helps me clean the tip of your soldering iron. There we go, so all we need is a little, little dab on there, little dab on there. So we know we just definitely want the video out, which is this one here. And we're going to want to have uh, the VT, uh, 5 volt and ground. I'm not worried about audio. Now what I do need to check is what this needs to receive. I think it's RX, but I will have to go and double check. Right, so to do a quick check, so it's the uh, TX that we want to connect to. I always get those two mixed up. It is one of my things I'm still getting the hang of in this hobby, and one day I will remember which one's which for what I want to do. I'm just going to get a bit of solder on the tipper here. Again, need to clean the tip. Okay, and then just a tiny little bit of solder. There we go. Right, so that's all now ready to rock and roll. So let's move on to the next bit. So now we need to take our video output cable, our tramp our telemetry cable, and our two power cables, and we need to hook them up to this. So what we're going to do is get the helping hands down, get that so that's nicely close to these. So um, again, you can cut these a lot shorter than I am. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of length because it allows me to not get it completely wrong, but I'm going to clip this down a little bit. Okay. They're now both done. I'll move it up nice and close. There we go, so those two are connected. Now we will be putting heat shrink on this, um, as we will with the receiver, but today, just to get everything up and running, we're not going to necessarily do that. Right, so now that's done, let's take our video cable. Okay, so that's now connected up. So the last things we need to do is we will place, we're going to power our camera off uh, the 5 volt and the ground off there, and then we'll also have the video coming back, the video going into the flight controller. So this is a very, very short video, um, pretty straightforward video to talk about. Um, we will come back to this and we'll start looking at the camera. Mm -hmm. 